Joining me now, Paragon Institute Director of Public Health and American Wellbeing and Competitive Enterprise Institute Senior Fellow, Dr. Joel Zinberg. Dr. Zinberg, you recently wrote about the legislation for City Journal. Tell me how you see it. Well, you know, first of all, this is not an act that's going to reduce inflation in general as a whole, but it's really the health care provisions that are truly frightening because they're going to harm Americans and it's being done to fund a permanent or semi-permanent expansion of government-run health care that a lot itself is going to be inflationary and that really is there to benefit the wealthy. So you have drug price controls that are going to decrease research and development, leading to possibly hundreds of fewer new innovative life-saving drugs. You're going to have uh, inflationary uh, pressures that are going to result from increased launch prices because of these controls. And this is all being done so that you can extend the expansion of ACA health care subsidies, mm -hmm. which are unneeded and that are in sell, themselves inflationary right. and that are little more than welfare for the wealthy. And those extensions, it's only a three-year extension of the Obamacare premium subsidies. And we doggone well know, if you know Washington, that they will continue to extend those at a cost of, they estimate it's about $21 billion per year. But to that point, this is a government takeover of health care of the health insurance market. The Wall Street Journal editorial page wrote about that recently, that Medicaid and Obamacare are replacing private coverage. And ultimately, how does that change the quality of care Americans get? Well, what you're doing is trying to move people off of employer-based health care, which most people are very satisfied with, that provides high quality care, provides lots of choice in terms of uh, large uh, provider networks, and you're going to move them onto these restricted provider networks that are what you see on the ACA exchanges and that you really see uh, in Medicaid managed care. So it's worse care that you're moving people onto, uh, and it's actually less efficient to do it that way. Uh, that the cost to the federal government is actually higher when you do it through these direct subsidies than when you have these sort of indirect subsidies uh, that fund employer care. Right. And the price controls on the met on drugs on via Medicare drugs, they don't even they start in 2026 with only 10 high cost drugs. Overall, over four years, prescription drug prices have been coming down in, in recent history because of the competition from generics. Before we um, go, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky is now ordering a reorganization of that agency, admitting that it failed during the pandemic. Your reaction, Dr. Zenberg? Well, thank, you know, welcome to reality, Captain Obvious. Everyone, <laughs> myself and other people in writing for the last two years, the CDC is behind the curve. This is a, a an agency that was started in 1946 to combat malaria. It became the Communicable uh, Disease uh, Center. Uh, but they strayed from that original purpose. And now they're talking about social justice. They're talking about environmental issues. They're talking about everything but their, in their base core mission. Uh, and it shows, you know, at, at the outset of the pandemic, they issued a defective test in February of 2020 that meant that no one could get tested in this country. They've been way behind the curve on masks, uh, issuing guidelines that everyone knew were ridiculous and misleading, leading to kids being masked in right. schools far longer than they needed to be. So it's nice that uh, Dr. Walensky has finally caught up with the rest of the country in knowing that the CDC needs to change its focus. She'll long be remembered for not only the mistakes, but the, and, and I'm embellishing, but uh, the quivering lip and the, uh, I'm scared, which was last year. <laughs> that from the head of the CDC, you're scared with the get, getting emotional. Again, uh, that, again, fear equals control and control equals power. So when you're desperate, you try to scare the bejesus out of people. Dr. Zenberg, great to see you. Dr. Joel Zenberg. Zenberg.